most accurate forecast. This is 10 News Pinpoint Weather, sponsored by San Diego's two men in a truck, movers who care. Well, those clouds have been sticking around. We saw a funnel cloud at yeah. Torrey Pines. What are things looking like right now, Angelica? Well, certainly it's going to be active, Ariel. Not much of a change. It'll be wet, it'll be windy, and we even have snow tonight. Already has been falling for now about an hour or so. And as we take a look live at La Jolla, you can see how different it looks right now. We had a report of a water spout and eventually that same rotating uh, cloud turned into a tornado at about 538 this afternoon. And now it's just nice and quiet, but it's been very active just to our north in San Bernardino over in the mountains. There was a report of thunder snow, so it's been active all over the area. Light to moderate showers will continue. It's been coming down heavily and Julian already picking up a quarter of an inch of rainfall. Areas like La Jolla about 0.2, so getting close to that quarter of an inch. Snow tonight will stay above 5,000 feet, expecting locally anywhere from a trace to two inches of snow by tomorrow morning. And gusty winds will be battering the mountains and the deserts, averaging 40 to 50 miles an hour, gust as great as 60 miles an hour. You can see here from Julian to Mount Laguna, we have snow right now, the heaviest rain coming out of La Jolla, stretching right over the 52 and along the 8 over the Alpine area, where it's been raining now for quite some time. We'll continue to see the showers spreading out to the east. And what's happening is that as the rain moves in, it's going up slope into the mountains and that's allowing for some enhancement. That is why we're seeing so much heavier precipitation in areas like El Cajon and Alpine. And again, if you're traveling along the eight, just be extra cautious. In our rain future, guys, we keep that chance into tonight. You can see how it becomes a lot more spotty in nature. And then tomorrow, it picks back up early in the morning for morning commuters. Just be mindful of the wet conditions and also the potential for some slick roads. It only takes a couple of showers and any uh, actually substantial rain, whether it's a tenth of an inch or a quarter of an inch. And that's basically where we are for tonight and into tomorrow. By the end of the day on Wednesday, we could have close to half an inch of rainfall in many different locations, including Carlsbad and Kearney Mesa. In our 10 News Pinpoint 7 day forecast, low 60s with a chance of spotty and scattered showers on Wednesday. There will still be a few showers, but most likely it's going to be confined over the higher elevations. Inland 67, nice and sunny on Thursday and Friday. And then over the weekend, we make up for this cool, cloudy days we've had with temperatures back up in the mid 70s and abundant sunshine in the mountains tomorrow. A lot of that snow is going to melt, only going up to 44 degrees, yeah. but tonight falling into the 20s. Yeah, wow. it's not often your live picture of La Jolla looks treacherous. Oh, yes. yeah, that's 